And with kids back in school, flu season isn't far off either. So we brought in ABC News medical correspondent, Dr. Darian Sutton, to give us all the advice. Good My morning. favorite time of the year. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Your, your favorite to time to get that yeah, vaccine. Flu flu okay, that's I was wondering about that. Okay, so when is the best time to yeah. get the flu vaccine? So the goal is to get your flu vaccine before the end of October. So the flu season typically peaks between December and February, ends in April. So the goal is to get it by the end of October, and that helps provide you that full coverage. Oh. So by the end of October, does that depend on your age when you should exactly get it? Well, if you're pregnant currently, for example, then you should get it in your third I'm trimester. I'm finally not. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say finally not? <laughs> But if you decide to be again, I'll be there. But if you're pregnant, you get it in your third trimester. For those who are older, I would encourage your higher risk. So you want to be, you want to be more proactive. But for everyone else over the age of six months, it's recommend that, recommended that you get it. It helps to protect against the most commonly circulating strains. And I remember to get mine every year because when I'm in the emergency room, patients start coming in and I'm reminded that the flu vaccine prevents tens of thousands of deaths each and every year. So it's so important. Yeah. Let's talk about the COVID shots now because we're, we're seeing a lot of advertisements for different things is yeah. now a good time to get that and can you double up yeah. and get COVID and flu at the same time? So you can get COVID and flu shots at the same time and it's dependent on your preference. I like to get mine separate because I feel like I like to know exactly which vaccine causes what symptom yes. and it helps me be more aware but to make it easier you can get them at the same exact time and it's recommended that you get it at the same period before the end of October. Again the flu and the COVID season typically peak around the same time. And Dr. Sutton while we have you whooping cough has yeah. been increasing in some areas. Anything parents need to know about that. A great point, Janae. I think it's important to remember that, especially with kids in school, to remind them to stay up to date on those 12 immunizations that are recommended by the National Immunization Schedule. That helps to protect against things like whooping cough. We've been seeing rising rates of measles, and it's trying to get kids back into participating into those vaccines. It can be a moment of discomfort for these kids, but that can last a lifetime in terms of their protection. So bringing your kids back, talking to your provider, and making sure they're updated is really important. Love that you stay ready. Well, you are so good because you aren't even planning to answer that question. Of course not, but I'm Still working ready. in the hospital. You don't have to get ready. I saw Janae right. on the schedule, so that's when I got to review <laughs> every single <Yeah. laughs> Prepare for everything. Prepare and for everything. Exactly. Dr. Sutton, as always, thank you.